Welcome back, heroes, to some more Triangle Strategy. Last episode, wow, a lot happened. We had some bombshells dropped on us. So when Frederica went to the Rosellen village, she learned more about the salt crystals that her mum had to do with and um, the pendant she had been given. And then Roland at the capital is struggling to kind of come to realization that, you know, the way he wants to run the kingdom isn't really going to work. And then our dad, unfortunately... Uh, lost his life to some assassins. Um, we had to fight him back, but the uh, the injury was too uh, severe. But he did tell us that he isn't actually our dad. Our real dad is King Regner, the king that got beheaded ages ago. That's just insane. So we haven't told anyone yet. The only person knows is me and Benedict. Also, S. Frost have gone to the mines, which we're going to go to next. But we've got a little main scenario section over here in Hyzant. So, um, you're going to see what the Saintly Seven are going to be talking about because they've gathered and haven't included Sarah Noah. So, yeah, they're probably going to be scheming against us. Don't like these Saintly Seven, I really don't. Glenbrook has withdrawn from the sanctions and reopened trade with us. King Roland is truly a man of his word. Furthermore, during the battle for the Crown City, our forces sustained nary a scratch, while the Asfrosti were all but crushed. We could not have asked for a more auspicious outcome. An outcome that would not have been possible without the Elfric we supplied them. Still, Minister Sarah Noah and House Wolfort must be given credit for aiding in our victory. Minister Exam. How strange to hear you lavish such praise upon another. I am only speaking truth. Leaving Minister Sarah Noah in Glenbrook's hands is unwise. I agree. As one of the Saintly Seven, he belongs here with us. Of course. We shall bring him under our thumb. The Holy One has plans for the young lord. Making him our creature has the added benefit of bringing his entire domain under Hyzantian rule. But I doubt his majesty will be so willing to part with him. Oh, indeed. And yet King Roland owes us a great debt. Which will be all the greater after we help him rebuild the Crown City. We will so overwhelm him with generosity, he will be unable to refuse us anything. So, you mean to seize Glenbrook as well, Minister Edor? Somehow I am unsurprised. I seek nothing more than to spread the goddesses' grace and wisdom. To Glenbrook and even Esfrost, until her divine protection shelters Nozelia in its entirety. That is what the goddess desires, and therefore, what the Hierophant desires as well. Is this all of it? Yes, my lord. This is all the cargo we were able to carry. Our comrades at the mine should be putting the final touches on everything right about now. Hmm. And why is no one telling me what is happening? I don't even know what cargo you are hauling. W we're only following Archduke Gustadolf's orders, my lord. Yes, I understand that. Stop your sniveling. Perhaps you may have heard the Archduke has summoned me to Ironstone. This may be the last time I serve at this fort. As such, I would like to show my appreciation for everything you've done. Do you have a moment? The sentiment is appreciated, my lord, but the Archduke insisted we make haste. And did he also insist you spit in the face of his uncle's generosity? No, my lord, of course not. I meant no disrespect. We shan't refuse your gracious offer. Come with me. Can all that cargo truly be naught but iron ore? I suppose I shall have to find out what it is for myself. Ah! 
Were those the only ones? I do not understand. There were far more soldiers here when I came scouting. They've mined more since the last time we were here. Perhaps the enemy is further within. Likely that's the case. But navigating these twisted tunnels ain't gonna be fun. Indeed. The enemy may be waiting to ambush us around any corner. I advise we familiarize ourselves with the nearby tunnels before we head any deeper into the mine, Lord Saranoa. Agreed. Let's take care to cover our tracks while we look around. Interesting. So it appears Esfrost has put a lot of effort into the mines. We installed quite the number of mining carts, perhaps to transport large quantities of ore. Let us investigate the area further. We must be on our guard. There's no telling if or when the enemy will strike. We might be able to ride the minecarts to get through the tunnels quickly. Let me see if they work. Don't lie, Anna. We just know you want to just ride in the minecart for fun. <laughs> Look out, Eridor. <laughs> oh, whoa, the cart. <laughs> Whew, that was a close one. Thanks for that, lad. <laughs> Anna just wants to run over Eridor. Let's proceed with caution. I would hate for anyone to get hurt by one of these carts. Sounds good. All right, let's go speak to everyone. These cards may prove it useful in the event of a battle. Thankfully, I have yet to see any trace of the enemy. I think how a, I think now a good time for us to glean the position of the cards. Okay, so I guess once we end exploration, then the fight's going to begin. Troops should be stationed at the entrance, regardless of whether you want to defend or abandon the mines. So, why are the soldiers hiding in the tunnels? Hmm. So they gain nothing but hiding in the tunnels. Perhaps they're luring us into some sort of trap. I doubt they do it on their own volition. Maybe some tactic they have been ordered to carry out. The burden of defeat would likely be thrust upon them if they return to the duchy. They might be hiding and knowing they have no place to return to. I think it's a trap. It's quite possible. Even so, we cannot retreat. We must find out what Esfrost was doing here. I agree. No matter what they have planned, we will get, give them no quarter. Can I go round and grab this? Hey, two quality timber. Also, off screen, I did a bunch of uh, grinding. I uh, promoted a few classes. We looking real nice. Looks like mining continued even after Dragon was killed. Ooh, okay. Yeah, it's definitely a lot bigger than it was before. But uh, yo, the mines were meant to be a symbol of a new age of peace between the free nations. You know, it feels no more than a distant dream now. What do you think should be done with the mines now, my friend? Or oh, what do I think should be done? Um. Mines are located in our domain within the Kingdom of Glenbrook. Let's us manage them together as one of the Kingdom's assets. We can use it to rebuild the Kingdom and as a place to work for those who have lost their jobs during the war. I think that's... that's good. A fine plan. If we can reward those who have suffered during the war, Glenbrook will recover all the faster. But we won't be able to use Dragon's explosives. I wonder if we will be able to mine these tunnels on our own. Uh, where there's a will, there's a way, my friend. We will find the way for Glenbrook. Sounds good. Yo, Eridor, how's it going? Don't know when the enemy will strike. But when they do, we can utilize these minecarts to fight back. Just got to make sure we don't hit any of ours. All right. Ooh. What's this? Explosive. They're all along the tunnel walls. We must be careful. Okay. And we can go through here. And we'll grab this. Hey, 3,500, not bad. Hey, all. I suppose the number of minecarts indicates how much work the duchy has done in these tunnels. Do you think they've come so far in such a short time? It makes me wonder what their hurry is. Ooh, when we'll find out. Wait, no, no, I don't want to examine. I want to. Uh, I want to grab this. Sitting and clear, okay. And there was one thing over here. Nice. And need to speak to Hewett and grab this sweet convictions increased. Also, apparently, like there's a true ending for this game. There's four endings. I don't think we'll get the true ending in this playthrough because apparently, where remember when Sorcery wanted us to go and deliver the soul, and I wanted to do it, but I just didn't have enough conviction. That is what screwed us over. <laughs> I think mean, there's more we have to do, but 
it doesn't really matter because I can just do what I want to do. But there were more people here when I came scouting. My guess is that they are hiding within the tunnels now. They may be planning an ambush. We should see if there's anything we can use to our advantage around here. Yeah, you got the bombs. We got the minecarts. Um, I think we are good now. So I've spoken to everyone. I don't think there's anything else to do. Have a little quick glance. I don't think I see anything shining. So let's end exploration. And probably get into a fight. Benedict, these spheres everywhere. Unless I'm mistaken, they're explosives. Yes, a means Lord Dragan devised for breaking through the bedrock. They aren't as powerful as blast crystals, but they are simple to set and can be manipulated to go off at the same time. Reckon I'll go collect whatever charges are left, my lord. Just to be safe. Thank you. I do not find it strange that there are explosives in a mine. Only that they have been left here. Indeed. As deadly as they are, one would hope they were stored more safely. You'd think the miners would have put them at the far end of the tunnel if they meant to use them. But they're everywhere, along the whole length. If they were to detonate, the entire tunnel would collapse. Then they must have been left here on purpose. Intruders! Get them! The Asfrosty army! Oh yeah, here we go. Recommend level 26. Whew. Okay, it's going to be a tough battle, but I think we can do it. The Esfrosty mean to seal off the mine. Do not let them through the tunnel. Kill them. But this is House Wolfort we're up against, Commander. You think I don't know that? Battle won't be easily won. But if we've the metal to use our explosives, victory may cost us our lives, but we can take those Wolfhard curs with us. For Esfrost, for an end to Hyzantian tyranny. We must blockade the mines. Soldiers, make ready. Aye. Aye. No, they don't mean to. They would blow the tunnel at the cost of their own lives? Okay, so, not even a single explosive to detonate is to defeat and decimate the enemy foes. Do we need to switch anyone on the team? I think I do. Uh, I want to change you for you and I can't have Archibald as well mm. yeah this will do okay yeah let's begin the battle explosives the explosives set by the enemy are set to detonate on a timer Move next to the enemy explosives and disarm them before they detonate. So there's, uh... Oh, it was free, wasn't there? So mine carts. The rail will glow blue when a cart can be used. And the opposite area station will become selectable. The yellow pan panel indicates mine carts call stations. Okay, so when you're standing next to the station where the cart, there is no cart, you can call the cart over from the opposite station. So keep in mind that a cart can deal damage to anything on the rails that it travels on. Nice. Okay, so there's only one bomb active right now. Commence the battle. Let's hope we can do this. 
Like victory conditions like this or like lost conditions always make the, the battle a little bit more difficult. But we can probably just take the minecart straight to that one. Comrades, we will seal off the mines, whatever it takes. If it costs us our lives to destroy our enemy, so be it. Detonate the charges and let them rot in pieces among the iron. We've no hope if they set off the explosives. Do not take this lightly. They're willing to martyr themselves to defeat us. I will end this. Right. I am... going to go... over here. And end. It's all good. It's all good. Alright, rolling next. I'm surprised... Oh no, I, don't, I think I took the equipment off Roland that makes him go first at the start of every turn, but... I don't think I can... Can I ride this one? Choices. Choices. Maybe he can't ride because he's on a horse. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go over like this and I can moon jump. If I get here, I can maybe moon jump up me. next turn. And you're gonna hit. Oh, you're not gonna hit me? You're gonna go straight for Frederica. You suck. Time to take flight. Okay. Let's just hit you like this. Are we missed? Seriously? Alright, not to a great start. Oh, great. Never bomb. Alright, arrest him. Keep going. Blow up the tunnel and seal off the mines. Damn. We need to hurry before the explosives go off. Forward. Right, so I need to go and get this minecart called. I see a path to victory. So it is here, isn't it? Go on to this. Yeah, cool cart. There you go. And hopefully Milo can take that bomb out next. Been waiting for this. All right, Eridor, I'm gonna charge you over here, and we'll go sprint. Show me what you're made of. I hope you're watching, Grandfather. Hmm. No, we'll go this way because I think if I can reach you, ah, uh, not really. But I will just if I just I'll go behind Frederica, and I'll give her a potion. Gratitude. Shall we begin? Right, and then Gila can go here, and then we can haste. Victory goes to the quick one. One step closer to our hope. Man, this battle is going to be stressful. <laughs> okay, life man, that's fine. Allow me. Alright, so Frederica's turn. Let's see if we can. You're weak. I'll just do a bit of damage to you like this. For a better world. I will end this. Right, so if I get here. Allow sound strike. And again. Sound strike. Charge. So I can get onto that actually, so I can get onto it, but. Mm. No, I best. So I go... Oh no, I can't get onto it, what? I thought I could. So in that case, I will... Oh no, I do it like this, I think. And then... Diffuse the explosives. Yeah, there you go, that's how you do it. I thought I'd click on the cart to ride it. Okay. A little bit less stressful. So now I can just go over here. Now I do this. Death from above. Big damage, nice. We do have time. Nice, the counter stance. Oh, do they, they do so much damage. I'm actually going to go and help out a little bit.
Good. My pride is my shield. <laughs> now what to do? Mm, I'm gonna bring a bit closer to Sereno and help out. If we moon jump over here. Oh, he's immobilized. Oh no. It's actually kind of good that I bought her over then. Hundred percent. Ooh. Oh, it's starting to grow, glow yellow. I don't like this. Oh, there is bad. no mercy on the battlefield. Uh. No, I can't stand that because if he calls the minecart, I'll be taking damage. It's way too risky. But if I go now, oh, I can't reach you. I need to get. Can I do it myself? I can't. Um... There is always a way for the future of House Wolf. Maybe Anna can and just get close enough, surmount, and I can jump down. Oh, it's so close! Luckily, it's the only bomb at the moment. Oh, it now. Look at me learn. Oh, that, okay. Put a bomb right in front, of, right in front of Frederica. That's absolutely fine. Right. <laughs> head uh, I'm gonna go over here, so I can heal her up. Your wounds are much appreciated. I hope you're watching, Grandpa. And if I cool the car, yeah. I did it. I thought I maybe get a turn me. as well, but it's fine. Uh, defuse the explosives. You are so nice. She is like dodging everything. Pretty Let impressive. Show you what I've learned. All right, so if I stay here and I scorch, that would take out one of you at least. In me. We will make our ideals reality. Let's do now. Uh, I'm gonna go and take. I can't take you out. Do some damage yeah. though. For my kingdom! Brace yourself! For my kingdom! Curses! <laughs> so annoying, it's just there! Uh. Can hawk dive at least. Ah! For my kith and kin. Still got another two turns of just being immobilized. Your orders? But Anna's got this. Whew! Okay! I'm gonna take cover. Alright, gonna go over here and that will finish you off. Nice. My pride is my shield. It's actually going alright so far. If they put a bomb no down really far away, then that is gonna be a bit of a problem. Don't like that physical Choices. counter stuff. Uh, can I take you out? I can't. But I'll do a bit of damage. Take this. Cool heads shall prevail. Uh, I need to bring you over. Oh, I'm just out of range. Unless I do this. Just about get you. <laughs> My utmost thanks. Ow, I don't like your slash attack. Alright, so then if I bring you here, I can spark you. Oh, you can spark the track as well. That's really cool. Oh, I like that. That's kind of good to know. I see right through you. I've been waiting for this. Alright, if I take the car. Uh we'll go. We'll go here, I'll go for sprint. Still stand. And I'll go over here. It's not over yet. I'm gonna get over here. Get oh, I'm gonna flash a steel. My last yes. Not bad. My poison doing some you work, so and you're gonna nice. miss. Oh, a bomb right there. That's absolutely fine. I can, I can deal with that. Curses. Uh, 
could just do that, I guess, but... Is there any point? I think... I'll just wait. Heal up Hannah. Use this. Not in no rush right now. And... Surmount. Oh, I cannot surmount onto that. Mmm... I'll go here, just take cover. The next turn, Anna can defuse the bomb. The hunt is on. Right, if we go up here. Wait, that's gonna finish you off. Get wrecked. Oh no. For the duchy, for the loved ones awaiting word of our triumph, we will win this one way or another. Down it. Of them. Stay on your guard, my friend. Right. I see a path to victory. Mm. <laughs> oh, cool! The cart's fun. Going straight for Gila. That's fine. Uh, I'm gonna cure your wounds. You have my gratitude. I take the cart, I could do some damage to you. Oh, I'll just call the cart then. Just got a scorcher. With the powers in me, we will make our ideals reality. Time for some sorcery. Right, and we end. I probably could have spot the rail actually, got the one all the way down there. It's not too far, but. Ah, oh, dude. Eridor, I need to get like a thing thing to increase his. Spaces he can move. I guess I could just defuse the bomb now, can't I? Less stressful. It's not over yet. And if we go, mm. let's rotate the camera. I'm trying to like. Oh. Can I zoom out? There you go. Best to go. Yeah, probably just come start coming down. Which I will heal up. I'll try this. And I see breath. Ooh. Might die. Oh no, you're gonna back up, that's fine. Right, so let me try and take you out if I can. I can't, but I'll just do some damage. And that's not enough to finish you off. We surmount down. And I can throw some poison at you. Yeah. Here I come. And then I could probably reach you from up here, maybe? Oh I can. Nice. And when it's your turn, the poison should hopefully finish you off. Let us pry out their weakness. And I probably should just take this and we'll go over here. If they put a bomb down back there, then we're screwed. Well, not too much screwed, but it'd be kind of annoying, you know? <laughs> I shall do what I can. Uh, right. I can call the cart and get Frederica over there for next turn. I'm gonna push you up here. I hope you're watching, Grandfather. Let's call the cart, get you ready. Let me show you what I And I've she left. can go here. Oh, I don't have any TP. You are lucky. You are so naive. Charge! Is that a bomb? Did you put a bomb down? He did! Okay. It's fine. Did you see that? Just for you. Nice, that was I some sure great damage. The and then she can on. just finish him off. It's been fun. Now we can just defuse the bomb next time. As long as I don't get killed. For this. Uh, right. So that's probably best if I just 
do that. Your orders. I think I could probably take you both out. If I go like here, silver dagger, and then throw poison. Anna is like my best character. I love Anna. She's the best character in this game. Oh no. More soldiers. We need to stop them before they can set off the explosives. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Okay, so luckily Serena is still over here. And I can start going this way. There is no mercy on the battle. I'm gonna go now. On to Serenoa. We must stay vigilant. Serenoa can jump up here. Eridor can call the minecart. I will keep you over here though, so you can start doing some damage. So I don't think they can. Never mind, I don't think they can really get me too easy, and then <laughs> exactly what the guy does. Ouch. That healer has to go. One step closer to our hope. Allow me. All right, can we finish you off? Oh, we can't. Two ashes. It's not the best, but. I hope you're watching, Grandfather. It'll do if I go. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, Gila will take some damage. Wait, would that, would that hit her? I think yeah, because it, it's next to it. Yeah. Ah. Uh... Is there a way I can... No, I can't hit that square without hitting her. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's fine. We'll go over this way then. And then we'll get ready for these dudes. My turn. Alright, you can... Go here and we can just hit you. I'm going to probably retreat a little bit here. Maybe if I do this, I can take you out. You won't know up from down. Oh, I should have gone from the side. I reckon I would have been able to take you out. I'll take you on. Uh, sprint for next turn. Show me what you're made of. I will end this. I will... Try and take you out. Victory is in reach. Go for a slumber stab. And I don't think you're asleep. That sucks. Oh, the bomb. Oh man, I totally forgot about that. I thought I just I couldn't see it. I thought I just discharged it, but clearly I didn't. For the honor of House Wolfort. Uh just defuse it now. There you go. There is no That's my bad. But it's fine. That seemed to work. My knowledge grows deep. Yeah, these physical counters are Cold really wrecking us a little bit. Let's finish you off as long as we don't miss. You Good. Me. Here I come. Let's go back and then we can do this. Yeah, this battle is won. Oh, come on. Oh, no. And a bomb up there. Great. Okay, uh. I'm gonna spark, not kill you, but Don't be afraid. it's big damage. That's Benedict it. can finish you off. I will end this. And oh my god, this is I need TP. So I really need with Frederica, but Serena can get that. If I go here. And if I moon jump. You won't know up from down. It's all I've good, it's all good. And I can heal up. Now. You won't beat me! Everything's going okay, I think. <laughs> it's just Away. it's just a lot. It can be all around this map. Fine, you're okay, buddy. For the honor of House Wolfort. 
Right, I'll get to you next turn. Shall we begin? Make the most of this. There is no Right, if I actually go Bandic, he's got now. Do that, we can defuse the bomb. From where shall we strike? And defuse the explosive. There we go. This battle is ours. And can I take you out? I can. This ends now. I will fight to my last breath. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, oh, that is getting very said. weak. I want to hit those two if I can. Sweet. Two ashes. What should I do? I'm gonna back up a little bit. And go for an icy breath. Don't be afraid. I can still move. It's not great. I'm gonna heal up first. Get a lot of HP back. I'll take this. And then I'm gonna attack her. That silver dagger. I'm hoping after this battle as well I can upgrade Anna's weapon to the final weapon. I would much love that. Oh, that was because I'd be taking the minecart, won't it? Um, and if we moon jump here. Or right here. There you go. Think you can catch me? Take this. If they call the minecart, it's going to hurt us a lot. Probably because dead. That's fine, that's fine. I wonder if I can do this. Yeah! Good job, Eridor. Uh, I probably should not go that way. Got to be careful. I shall try my level best. Uh, let's do this. We need to get down to help Anna. From where shall we strike? Anna is in a very bad spot. Take you out, nice. Here I come. Only three gr soldiers left, right? So they get no more reinforcements. We're good. Your orders. Is and this will finish you off. Two soldiers left. We got this. We got this. And ice breath. Shall we begin? This is fine. The show must go on. And I, I love Moon Jump, man. It's, it's so good. You Just get wherever you want to go. Right as a hey! Oh, I thought the poison finished you off. He's got me. like one HP. You are so lucky, son. Show me what you're so made. lucky. I love the battle. Let us pry out. I'll finish you off. One more attack and we win. Which we will do here. Woo! That was... That was tough. These frosty soldiers have been dealt with. The mine is ours again. Why was S-Frost so desperate to keep it from us? That was close. To think they tried to collapse the tunnel with themselves still inside. Why would the Esfrosti blow themselves up to destroy the place they were charged to defend? It makes no strategic sense. Nothing Esfrost does make sense. But if they were this desperate, there must be something in there they do not want us finding. We must see what lies at the end of this tunnel. Now let us press on. Oh! These pink rocks aren't iron. It's salt. 
or rather, salt crystal. Crystallized salt, untapped beneath the earth. The Rosellan legend my mother recorded is true. The grand Norzellian mines must have been built upon a vein of crystals. This explains how Esfrost was able to cut ties with Hyzant. As long as they could excavate their own, they didn't need to rely on the salt from the Holy State. They could fight without it. How do you think Gustadoff discovered this? Lord Dragan was in charge of the mines. Until he was assassinated in that sudden Esfrosty raid. Which Gustadoff used as a pretense to invade Glenbrook, after which he claimed control of the mines. That tells me. Lord Dragan was likely the first to discover the salt crystals. However, a struggle ensued between him and Gustadolf over their ownership. So Gustadolf had him killed and ordered the invasion of Glenbrook. In order to seize control of the mines and secure the salt crystals for himself. That scheming bastard! Looks like we made the right call, taking back the mines. They already took loads of soul crystals to the duchy, but even that ain't gonna last him forever. Indeed. If we can hold the mines, Esros will have no choice but to surrender. And what if they discover another vein of soul crystals elsewhere? A real possibility, if the Rosellan legend is to be believed. But the Grand Rosellian mines only succeeded because all three powers worked together. If this is the kind of terrain salt crystals are found in, Esfrost cannot dig a new mine all on their own that easily. Meaning they are at their most vulnerable now, without a source of salt to call their own. This does not concern only Esfrost. The existence of salt crystals will undermine the very foundation upon which Hyzant is built. If people knew that, then the two pillars of Hyzantian power, the source and the might of their goddess, would crumble. And it would prove the Rosellan legend is true. If we reveal the truth, they would be forced to free the Rosell they've imprisoned. We hold the very future of Norzelia in our hands. Whatever we decide to do, we cannot decide it lightly. Indeed. For now, let us return to the Crown City. Huet, send word to the capital. I want Kingdom soldiers posted around this entire area. Tell them to allow no one anywhere near the mines. It shall be done, sire. Hmm. Hmm. This must be what the old man was hoping to find. So, our army failed to secure the Grand Norzellian Mines. It would seem House Wolfort interfered. Glenbrook forces already surround the area, so retaking the mines is likely out of the question. They must have discovered the salt crystals. Damn them. Gather our soldiers, and be quick about it. Aye, Your Grace. I see you finally decided to answer my summons, Svarog. I shan't use laboring in secret to complete the death snell as an excuse. Punish me as you see fit. If you think you can, that is. I ought to wipe that impertinent smile off your face. I saw what they brought in from the Grand Norzellian Mines. Huh. So you know of the salt crystals. Enough secrets, Gustadolf. Tell me what you are planning. To use those salt crystals to put the final nail in Hyzan's coffin. To free the people of Norzelia from their tyranny by ending their monopoly over salt. By which you mean the strong would be free to trample the weak. Is that it? I will not argue semantics. Though it is at least far more human to struggle for one's own survival rather than capitulate to the whims of some goddess. 
People have the right to discover their own strength and wield it to claim what is rightfully theirs. Just as you are contesting me at this very moment, Uncle. How long have you known of the Salt Crystal's existence? I learned of the possibility long ago, when I read of them in an old text from the Archives. Ancient knowledge should never be discarded. As you well know, since you had Dragan study there to perfect his explosives. You are the one who had him killed. Spare me your unfounded speculation. Unfounded, you say? Dragan oversaw the mine. It only stands to reason that he would have discovered the salt crystals first. So you, in your greed, had him killed, so that you might claim his discovery for your own. Not only that, but you used his murder as a pretext to invade Glenbrook. Am I wrong? <laughs> you have an admirable imagination. Admirable, but mistaken. Your son was quite the ambitious man, you know. What do you mean? You know very well what I mean. Indeed, Dragan did discover the salt crystals. Who else do you think told me of their existence? Yet he refused to hand them over unless I made him Prime Minister of Esfrost. And your son's scheming didn't end there. At the same time, he had initiated negotiations with Glenbrook. He offered them salt crystals in exchange for a noble title. He sought to father land and foe for all he could get. Lies! All of it! How dare you dishonor my son's name! I thought if anyone understood the extent of Dragan's ambition, it would be you. <sighs> Uncle. Now is not the time for family squabbles. Glenbrook now knows of the salt crystals. It is but a matter of time until Hyzant learns of them as well. We must make ready to stand against them. What would you have me do? The Death Snell is taking far too long to build. See that it is finished with haste. Do that, and I will name you my Prime Minister so you may fulfill your dearly departed son's dream in his stead. Very well. There is no time to waste. War will be upon our doorstep before we know it. A war to end all wars. A war whose victor shall rule Norzelia in her glorious entirety. Deep in the Grand Norzelian Mines lay a most unexpected discovery. Crystals of pure salt. Now in possession of knowledge that could alter the course of history in Norzelia, the members of House Walford gather at Whiteholm Castle to discuss their next move. Unexpected though it may be, the salt crystals are now ours. How shall we proceed? Carefully, for it has the potential to alter the balance of power across Norzelia. This is an opportunity to reshape the realm to our benefit. We must be strategic. It's a target on our backs is what it is. There'll be no peace for us so long as we hold them. Hyzant will set upon us with a fury we've never known if they hear of this. She's right. They will stop at nothing to defend their faith. Nor will Esfrost go quietly into the night. Then let us prepare for when word does spread, rather than fret over how long we can keep the secret. Whether we protect the salt as ours, or find another way to use it, we must act soon. What say you, your majesty? 
we find ourselves at a crossroads. Not just as a kingdom, but an entire realm. Our decision will touch every life in Norzelia. I too wish to act quickly. But I beg you all for a moment alone with my thoughts. Your caution is admirable, but ill-advised. Hesitation could cost us everything. That much is obvious. Yet I cannot race headlong into the unknown when so much depends upon us. Benedict, I find myself unmoored as well. I wish to hear from all present before we decide upon a course of action. As you wish. Pray let it be swift. Serenoa, answer me this. Can I count on you to walk the path with me, whatever it may be? I was named Lord of House Wolfort long before I was inducted into the Saintly Seven. And I've been your friend even longer still. Say no more. Take the others to Castle Wolfort and await my word. Likewise, inform me of any movements from Hyzant. As you wish. Until we meet again. Just look how you've grown. To think you'd produce such a bounty. And you've flourished as well. I'm so proud of you, my lovelies. Quite the passionate one, aren't you? Oh. Don't sneak up behind people like that. Hasn't anyone told you it's rude? Apologies. I was just curious. What are you doing here? If you must know, I'm harvesting herbs. I thought I might make them into medicine for the injured. That would be helpful. Lord Saranoa will be pleased as well. <laughs> and I am oh so happy to please. I am quite taken with powerful people. People like Lord Saranoa. You'll tell him I'm doing my best to be useful to him, won't you? Wait, that plant, it induces paralysis, does it not? Quite knowledgeable you are. Did you know it can also be used for pain relief? The same plant can be both a poison and a medicine? Yes, depending on how it's used. And yet, people still try to force plants into one category or another. Good and therefore valuable, or bad and therefore detested. Foolish, don't you think? These little ones are neither good nor bad. They just... are. You treat them as if they were your children. Perhaps it seems strange to care for a plant, which is no more than a tool for making medicines or poisons, but... Minister Idor, about that experiment. I think we are on the verge of discovering how to better stabilize the subject. Wait. We are not alone. Show yourself! Milo, why do you eavesdrop on us? Don't be upset. As your spy, I thought it behoove me to keep abreast of important information. Unnecessary. You need only do as I instruct. But that would make me no better than a tool. Does that displease you? <sighs> Worry not. I take good care of my tools, so long as they serve me well. But should they act out of line, they will be disposed of. <laughs>
Even tools have feelings. What was that? Nothing you need concern yourself with. Anyway, I'm certain my herbs will benefit House Wolfort. Please pass on my warmest regards to Lord Serenoa. Have you heard the popular rumor, Lord Claris? That Hyzant intends to raise an army against Glenbrook? Yes, I am familiar. So it's reached the Consortium then. Is it true? King Roland has only just reclaimed the Crown City with Hyzant's help. Not to mention restored relations with them. Ordinarily, such a thing would be unthinkable. But the rumors are so persistent that I think something may be afoot. For example? I wouldn't be so restless if I had an example to give. Esfrost gathers its troops at Twinsgate. Might they have heard the rumors as well? Perhaps. A battle for the very soul of Norzelia may loom on the horizon. But therein lies the opportunity for merchants like us. You can't wage war without a surfeit of supplies. You're quite right about that. And each shift in Norzelia's power balance opens new business opportunities. Will the Consortium continue trading with Hyzant? Tis difficult to say. I believe House Wolfort's actions from here on will be key to the Consortium's decision. House Wolfort, you say? Indeed. They've been involved in most every conflict between the three nations on this continent. Why stop now? I shall wait and see how Lord Serenoa responds first, lest I make any hasty decisions. I am gladdened to see each and every one of you, my ironclad brothers in arms, here at Twinsgate. I have asked you here to tell you of a most fortuitous discovery. We have found crystals of salt deep in the Grand Norcellian mines. Alas, Glenbrook has taken those very mines from us. What's worse, Glenbrook's esteemed House Wolfort is led by one of the saintly seven of Hyzant. They will no doubt be informed of the salt crystals, and their precious religion will be shaken to its core. I trust you can all imagine how Hyzant will respond to such an affront. They will not go quietly, but will instead seek the crystals for themselves that their reign of terror may continue unimpeded. Therefore, we must subdue Glenbrook and seize the mines for Esfrost if we are to counter this grave threat. But we cannot stop there, for that will only draw Hyzant to our gates. They will stop at nothing to conquer all of Norcelia in their name. The duchy has never been in a more precarious position. But we will not yield. We subscribe to no faith, and we bend the knee for no king. We shall greet our enemies at Twinsgate with cold, hard steel. Our newest weapon, the Death Snell, is nearly complete. With it, we shall strike back at Hyzant. The false goddess shall crumble beneath the sheer force of our iron will, and Hyzant reduced to rubble along with her. Raise your swords, my black iron heroes. 
Your names shall be cast in iron when the histories of this day are written. You shall be known as the defenders of Esfrost! For Esfrost! The death snare will reduce many a falsehood to rubble, dear Gustadolf. Ah, Milo has sent a dispatch from Glenbrook. Deep within the Grand Nozalian Mines lies... Hmm. It would seem salt crystals were found within. Impossible! The discovery of salt outside the source explains Gustadolf's recent... provocations. How can you be so calm? The teachings tell us that salt is a blessing bestowed only upon the goddess's followers. The discovery of these salt crystals is an existential threat to Hyzant. Salt crystals are salt too. We need only keep word of this discovery from spreading. Of course. But how? The Hierophant has spoken. Minister Exham, you shall raise an army and seize the Grand Nozalian Mines in Hyzant's name. The Hierophant asks us to invade Glenbrook? Do you have another way to silence King Roland and his royal hounds in House Wolfort? Minister Serenoa is one of us, and thus is honor bound to heed the Hierophant's word. But we know not if he will do so, this precious king. You shall ask him yourself when you surround Castle Woolfort en route to the mine. And if he resists? You are free to deal with him as we do with all who forsake the goddess. Hyzant has learned of the salt crystals. Minister Exham of the Saintly Seven wastes no time in mustering his army, which now marches on the Grand Nozellian Mines. Elsewhere, Gustadolf amasses his own forces at Twinsgate in anticipation of the war to come. All eyes are on Glenbrook where Roland and Serenoa's pronouncement could touch off a battle for the soul of Norzelia. After much deliberation, Roland makes his way to Castle Wolfford to inform Serenoa of the decision that now weighs heavy on his heart. I appreciate you coming all this way, Roland. I was the one who asked for your time, so it is only natural I make the journey. I wish to tell you that I finally made up my mind. And I would hear your decision if you were willing to share it with me. I've long pondered over the one thing that Norzelia needs most. I thought back on the Salt Iron War. Thirty years have passed, yet the root of our conflict remains the same. Each nation still thinks only of itself, wishing to fill its coffers even at the expense of others. But who bears the brunt of such a war? The people. Exactly so. The avarice of the ruler is an existential threat to their loyal subjects. And yet without that wealth, the people suffer just as much. They languish in poverty. This much is obvious. But there can be no winner without a loser. Remove one, and you necessarily remove the other. If we achieve equality, we achieve peace. 
Then how do you propose we achieve? No. No, surely you don't mean. Yes. The goddess's teachings. All can live as equals under the goddess. An authority greater than any king. The model nation was in front of us all along, Sarah Noah. The holy state of Hyzant. I have decided that we must give the salt crystals in the Grand Norzellian mines to Hyzant. And in so doing, you'll give them control of all Norzelia. Exactly. There will be no more squabbling over salt. Norzelia will know eternal peace at last. Unequal peace, surely. One built on the backs of a people like the Roselle, if not the Roselle themselves. I am not blind to that fact. But so few will suffer for the good of so many. Nothing in this world is perfect, Saranoa. The sacrifice of the few for the good of the many. It's the only clear answer, and one I would give every time I were asked. Submitting to the goddess will rob you of your kingship. So be it. My crown. My pride. There are but small prices to pay for peace. You are truly prepared to throw it all away. Join me, Saranoa. Let us unite Norzelia under the Holy State. Roland, this is quite sudden. I understand. Pray, take all the time you need. I expect Frederica will want nothing to do with this plan, seeing as it forsakes her people. I am already mourning the rift this may cause between you. But I shall not be swayed. This will be my final act as Glenbrook's king. King Roland's anguish plays plainly across his face. It pains me to see him so tortured. I'm not surprised. The future of our kingdom, to say nothing of the entire continent, rests upon his shoulders. Pray tell, what do you intend to do about the salt crystals? In truth, I cannot decide. Salt is too precious to be hoarded. We have a duty to share it with the people, which is... Where the difficulty lies, yes. The source makes that all too clear. Salt lies at the heart of every war in Norzelia. Would that the boundless salted sea of Rosellan legend still existed. We'd have no need of conflict if there were a source of salt for all. My love, if I may, the discovery of the salt crystals has made two things plain to me. The first is that my mother spoke true in the legend she passed on to me. And the other is that the goddess's teachings are... Nothing more than a lie built to constrain your people. Just so. We are guilty of nothing. Yet the Roselle languish in the source where they are looked down upon and forced to work until they die. Entire generations lost. Countless lives given to Hyzant's cruelty. Cruelty created to justify Hyzant's own avarice and lust for power. Such is the ugly lie at the heart of their teachings. One revealed by a crystal of the mineral they hold so dear. The time has come, Saranoa. The Roselle must be freed. The salt crystals have brought us to the brink of war. We can harness this unrest, incite the Roselle to rise up and rebel against their captors. I am with you. Believe me, I am. But you make it sound so... Simple. Yes, I know. But the suffering of my people is so distant for everyone else. We can no longer wait for someone to do the right thing. Help isn't coming. Why else would my own mother incite rebellion? We are alone. I swear to you, none of this feels distant to me. The Roselle live in my domain. I am betrothed to you, my dear. It couldn't feel any closer. And I thank the stars that I have you by my side. I do. In truth, that's why I think this time will be different. Why I'll be able to accomplish what my mother could not. Hmm. 
I agree. But the risk is immense. Suppose we succeed, what then? Aizant will not let us go quietly. Of course not. And when that time comes, you can lead the Roselle to Centralia. Just as your mother wrote about in the book she left behind. Beyond the Great Falls and the Falk's Domain, at the end of the Norzelia River. The ancestral home of the Roselle. But that's... that's just a legend. We've already found one legend to be rooted in truth. Perhaps this one is as well. And if not, at least you'll be safe from harm. <laughs> I doubt Benedict will share our feelings, though. Abandoning all we've built to embark on a journey fraught with danger in search of a legend. Yet no matter how perilous the path ahead, I would happily walk it at your side. I trust you understand what a monumental effect the discovery of these salt crystals will have on Norzelia's history. Whatever course of action we choose will determine whether House Wolfort leaves a legacy in that history or is expunged from it. How would you proceed, Benedict? I would do all I could to keep it from falling into Hyzant's hands. They already control the source. With the crystals in hand, they will solidify their grip on the realm and in time dominate it. The siren song of a false equality under their goddess shall blanket the land, claiming every domain and its people. Even though they count me among the saintly seven? Even then, for that matters little when the equality they espouse is dictated by the goddess, or should I say, the hierophant. In the end, they will have the same life and death control over all Norzelia that they now hold over the Roselle. And our wounds from the battle with Esfrost have only begun to heal. Hyzant will destroy us if we wage war against them in our current state. But they stand little chance against us if we ally with Esfrost. Ally with Esfrost? Are you of sound mind, Benedict? Quite. Think about it for a moment. Esfrost wants nothing more than to loosen Hyzant's grip. They will go to war if it means control of the salt crystals. Our interests are broadly aligned, yes, but... Esfrost has been building toward precisely that purpose for some time now. You speak of the Desnel, the weapon that Cordelia mentioned. Precisely. A weapon capable of reducing the goddess's shield to rubble, leaving Hyzant's capital ripe for the taking. Without that weapon, we cannot win. You need only say the word, and I shall convince Esfrost to join our side. I appreciate your candor, Benedict, and I do not doubt you could secure Esfrost's cooperation. But I fear the harder fight is within our own domain. King Roland's heart will not be easily won. I bid you listen closely and calmly to what I'm about to ask. From whence this somber tone? Do you believe King Roland is fit to rule? What are you implying? Decorum is of little use when the fate of our realm is at stake, Lord Serenoa. Are you content to spend the rest of your life in servitude to another? Not another word, Benedict. Roland is more than my king. He is my friend. And you are Lord of House Wolfort, whose military prowess is known to all Norzelia. Not the guard dog of Glenbrook and Hyzant. What else are you here to do, if not to protect your house and keep its banner aloft? <sighs> but you have the potential for so much more. All Norzelia could be yours if you but desired it. Treason! 
if not outright regicide. These are your suggestions. Of course not. The blood in your veins and the royal family's ring are claim enough to the throne. There is no need for violence. I told you not to speak of that again. But you did not tell me to forget. The time to reckon with your lineage draws near. You must make a... I've heard enough. Leave me. Just know that I will do anything you ask of me, Lord Saranoa. I pray that you make the right choice, not only for House Wolfort, but for yourself. Oh my god, these decisions are incredibly tough. I mean, Roland, I'm not joining Roland. No way. I'm sorry, Roland, like... I, I liked you up until now. <laughs> you lost all my respect and wanted to join Hyzant. Absolutely not. No. No. Oh, but then Benedict makes a good point. We're gonna need Esfrost to take out Hyzant. Oh, this is... The story is approaching a turning point. It's recommended that you save your current progress. And proceed to the save screen. Oh, yeah, I probably should do that. All right, now we're saved. Do I have to go to the save screen? Yes, let's proceed. I have a new save, so we can I can like maybe go back and try different endings if I really need to. But oh man, here we go. You are certain Hyzan's army marches for the Grand Norzellian mines? There is no doubt. They've heard word of the crystals. It was only a matter of time. We knew this. S. Frost's army gathers at Twinsgate as well. War's breaking out over this thing, and we've got to be ready. How will Glenbrook respond, King Roland? There's no need to prepare for war. I have decided that we will surrender the salt crystals to the holy state of Hyzant. What? Furthermore, I hereby declare that the kingdom of Glenbrook and its people shall submit to the goddess and her teachings. There is no way to bring happiness to all Norzelia with the salt crystals. Which is why I have chosen a path that will allow the greatest number of people to live in equality and harmony. How could you? Do you not see that Hyzant's dominion over Norzelia's salt is why we are in conflict already? Is the suffering of the Rizal not proof enough that the goddess's vaunted equality is a lie? She speaks the truth, my king. Handing over the salt crystals is tantamount to giving Hyzant's goddess free reign of Norzelia. Will you so readily surrender the realm to the Hierophant? I acknowledge the abdication of my kingdom and kingship alike. A small price to pay in my eyes in exchange for the security and prosperity of the many. And the sacrifice of the Rozelle? Is that a small price to you? It is. How could you say such a thing to my face? I for one oppose. I would prefer to ally with Esfrost and strike back at Hyzant. The salt deposits within the mines give us the leverage we need to convince Gustadolf to join us. Ally with Esfrost? You dare suggest we ally with the man who murdered my father? I see no reason why we should not. You proposed abdicating the throne for the sake of the kingdom and its people. So you should have no trouble putting aside your own feelings and judging this matter dispassionately. I cannot believe my own ears. I will not have you lecture me on feelings when it is not your father he murdered! None of you can see beyond your own grievances. It's no wonder my people have suffered for generations. We're told to believe in the Goddess, while our own lives are thrown away to make a few more grains of your precious salt. And now, even with proof that the Goddess is a lie, you would watch us dig our own graves for your comfort. Lady Frederica, please. We shall speak of the Roselle in due time. 
No, I've heard that before. Your due time is never, and I will not have you cast us aside for another three decades or more. All else is in disarray. If Hyzant seizes the Salt Crystals, we forfeit the best opportunity in decades to free my people. We know the truth. We must act upon it. We must be a light in the darkness. We cannot afford to dilute our forces when the enemy marches on us as we speak. So we are a distraction to you? I am merely being rational. Liberating the Roselle would be extremely dangerous. We cannot take such a risk. Suppose we succeed. How do you propose we fend off the fury Hyzant will rain down upon us? Esfrost would pounce on us, sensing weakness at the undue burden we've taken upon ourselves. Precisely. We would be without allies and ripe for the taking. There is another way. And what, pray tell, would that be? We set out alongside the Roselle in search of Centralia. Centralia is a myth. The legends of my people are true. I care not one whit if they are. I will hear no talk of forsaking the Wolfort domain. Silence! I have heard enough to know where each of you stand. Do you all hold the courage of your own convictions? I do. Nothing I've heard here has swayed me. I feel the same. Very well. But know that a choice must be made. There can only be one way forward. Face the scales of conviction and prepare to make peace with the outcome. I don't know. I I don't want to go with Roland. I'm not going with Roland. But I will say I'm kind of leaning towards Benedict. Like as much as I hate S Frost, I want to take down Hyzen. Like S Frost are clearly Bad, but Hyzan, Hyzan are just as bad as well, and Hyzan's got away with everything for so long. I think King Roland, Lady Frederica, and Sir Benedict's convictions would diverge so greatly after all this time. Just between you and me, Lord Serenoa, what do you make of their plans? I, I, uh, I want to help Frederica, but Hyzan is. We need to take down Hyzan. That is the issue. Like. Yeah, liberating the Roselle. Awesome. But then Hyzant will just crush us. So I wanna... I got it. We gotta take down Hyzant. So he joined forces with the Duchy not only to survive, but to prepare for the final stage of his plan. Thinking a strategy that no ordinary tactician would come up with. I would most certainly not want him as my enemy. Thankfully for us, he is House Wolfort's most loyal retainer. Indeed he is. Though it does not make me wonder... It does make me wonder if any, everything he does is simply for the sake of our house or something more. Everyone's choices are deeply rooted in their convictions. It makes me wonder if they'll be able to abide by the scale's decision. Lord Serenoa, it will fall to you to lead everyone down the right path. Of course, I wish for all of us to walk astride the same path as we always have. Can we head outside? Lord Serenoa, I cannot help but feel that our greatest battle lies ahead regardless of which path you choose. I... No, this may not be the best time to say so, but my wife gave birth to our first child not a few days ago. You're a father before a soldier. It is your duty to protect your own house before that of Wolfor. Uh, I will not force you to march with us. I can ask that you act according to your own convictions. Whilst pull together, we emerge victorious. I ask that you see us through. Uh, I mean, I don't. It's up to him. I'll let him decide. Might have a uh, time to think about it, my lord. But of course, the path before me diverges as well. We must also make time to think before making a decision. Let us both choose a path that leaves us with no regrets. Okay, thank you, Lord Serenoa. It is an honor to call you my lord. Right. I... I'm, I'm guessing we cannot sway, like, Roland or... Serenoa. 
I have made my decision. Yeah, like, it's not gonna... I think not. Moreover, Wait, he's gonna keep going? Oh. Yeah, your words have no power here. So we, we cannot convince them. So it's convincing the other four. Let's start with Anna. Lord Saranoa. So Benedict and King Roland would march us to war. Frederica would use would see Hyzant hunt us for all eternity. Perhaps her vision is not so different. So it comes to this. Ally with an one-time opponent or flee with a Roselle. However. Bold proposals all. Our tactics must be flawless. I am I'm gonna agree with Benedict. Like I want to help the Roselle, I do, but we have to take out Hyzant. Hyzant have got to go. Like, the Roselle would never truly be free if Hyzant are still about. Ah, <sighs> right. Cannot buy the Holy State's control of salt supplies, built as it is on a lie meant to justify exploiting an entire people. Blue can use a salt crystal to coax S. Frost into an alliance against Hyzant. Yeah. Well then. Indeed, their claims of equality are undone by the suffering of the Roselle and the lies they employ to maintain control of the source. I care little for their deceit myself. Meanwhile, Esfros's vaunted freedom is, in practice, a gladiatorial arena. Glenbrook too hides its sins beneath a thick growth of tradition. All nations betray their ideals. Do I have the right of it? Just so, granted, I understand your fury and the moral imperative that uh, animates it. But what is war, if not the clash of two such indignations? I digress. What we need is a strategy, whether it be to win or merely stave off defeat. Okay. Eridor, you're up next. Here's what I we are going with Benedict. So you think Benedict will get us through this too, eh? How do you reckon? Our duty has always been to the Wolfhurt Domain and its people. We must stop at nothing to protect them both. We control the Soul Crystals as such. There is precious little to be gained by allying with Hyzant. I have seen how Hyzant treats the Roselle. There is no reason to expect they will treat us is as equals. Besides, Yeah, you really think they'll turn on us the moment they get the Soul Crystals? The Holy State rewrote their history around a lie justifying the Goddess's Creed and the abuse of the Roselle, Eridor. With no way of knowing how they might treat the people of Gl Glenbrook from one day to the next. Are you joking? I understand your hesitancy, but I think you might be making too much of this. Treating us with a respect would be the perfect way to show off how righteous their precious goddess is. And more than that, I reckon they wouldn't go out of their way to make enemies of you and the king so readily. You'd be okay, lad. No! That was, I shouldn't have said that was the wrong thing. Mmm, that sucks. Okay. Dealer. What do you need? Please, Jila, you usually come with me. Alright. This land shall belong to House Wolfoot so long as I breathe. Any concession to Hyzant is like as not to result in the theft of our kingdom in the name of the preserved sense of equality. Perhaps the contribution of our domain and the crystals, coupled with the fall of Esfrost, should win us unfavorable esteem in their eyes. Well, Though the Saintly Seven control the salt and fought nothing of oppressing the Roselle to maintain their hold on power. So yes, I see little reason why they would look kindly upon a recent uh, converts such as ourselves making such an entrance. And all the while we would know the truth, that the goddess's teachings are a lie. I don't know. Precisely. We would meet with a swift end indeed. Were they to find out what we know? Yes, there are plenty of reasons to strike them down now. What outcome do you foresee? If I'd we have the soul crystals and death's knee in our hand, a victory shall be ours. Yeah. Well... I agree. Brief bursts of conflict are inevitable so long as Hyzant maintains its grip on the salt supplies. And so long as the goddess's shield stands, the holy state will win any uh, protracted war by attrition, as they have always done. Just as you say, the salt crystals and the death's knill give us an advantage, which we can compound if we cut off their iron supply. Possibly. Benedict proves himself as a master strat uh, strategist yet again. I can, find new f I can find few flaws in it. Okay, so I think that's definitely going to help. However. Hewitt, all right, here we go, last person. All right, here we go. An alliance with Esfros gives us iron and we already have salt. Together we will cower before Hyzant no longer. The people do not deserve to be cast aside or given over some other nation. They deserve protection and we shall provide it. Turn the salt crystals would be surrender. Our last remaining weapon we would be but puppets to the Hierophant. I think this. I wonder yes, that. that would make us rich in resources. It may even give us access to the Destinal. 
Though it also means casting our lot with Gusadov, a man who would just as soon stab us in the back the moment we let our guard down. How do you know we can trust him? If we understand any chance of defeating Hyzant, we have no other choice. However, as for a wager as I can imagine, no, forgive me, I cannot ascend. Ah! No! Gotta try. I could always reset if I do it wrong. But I, I hope I got it right. I want to go with Benedict. I think that is going to be the best outcome. It is time to cast our votes. The opinions before us are many. Roland's, Frederica's, Benedict's. Which to choose? Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. I agree wholeheartedly. Yes, okay. So that's two for Benedict. You have my vote. Yes, three for Benedict. Nice. I cannot be swayed. Okay, so I don't know what she's gone for. Just need you, Eridor, to guarantee. I'm with you. Okay, cool. We're definitely going Benedict's plan then. I wonder what Huet vote, voted for. I'm guessing Roland. Will illuminate the path we've chosen. Yeah, she went with Roland. The way forward is decided. We will follow Benedict's plan and join forces with Esfrost to lay Hyzant low. I think that's definitely the right choice. A tumultuous meeting exposes a yawning chasm between Roland, Frederica, and Benedict's visions for the future. Yet only one will emerge victorious, for such is the custom of House Wolford. As ever, the scales of conviction have the final word. The time has come for judgments to be rendered and leaders to steal themselves for the outcome. We've chosen our path. We shall ally with Esfrost and strike at the heart of the holy state of Hyzant. So you would kiss Gustadol's feet and bribe him with salt? I cannot abide this idiocy. You will defeat Hyzant only to be conquered by Esfrost. We are well aware of Gustadol's cunning. He shan't take advantage of us. You would ally with them only to stab them in the back later? If need be. Have you no shame? Says the king who would deliver his own people to Hyzant. Yes, for that is how we secure peace for the many at the expense of the few. You know that is not true. Hyzant will conquer all Norzelia if we give them the salt crystals. All will be forced to worship at the feet of the goddess and follow her orders. Just as the Roselle have at the source. I see House Wolford is determined to walk their path astride Esfrost. But as King of Glenbrook, I will not allow it. Lord Wolford. I command you to march on the duchy and strike down Gustadolf. What? You remain my vassal. I dare you to defy me. Roland, your majesty. You are bound by nothing, Lord Serenoa. You are no one's vassal. 
What are you talking about? Now is not the time, Benedict. Lord Serenoa is not the son of Lord Simon. His true parentage is none other than His Majesty King Regna. You cannot be serious! King Regna fell in love with Lady Destra, a commoner living in the Crown City. When it came to light that she was with child, King Regna bowed to pressure from the royalists and had Lord Simon take her in. She bore a son, who you know today as Sarah Noah, heir to House Wolfort. If this is true, and you are my elder brother, then you are not bound by my command. Hold! Roland is the one with the royal ring, is he not? Even if this story is true, is it not Roland who holds claim to the throne? Roland was not the only one entrusted with a royal ring. So you possess one as well, Saranoa. I do. Genuine. There is no mistaking it. What Benedict says must be true. I've always admired you, Serenoa. I knew from the moment we met that you were worthy of respect. I always felt you to be my better, even as a leader. Yet I still felt a closeness with you I could never place. Now, at last, I have. Roland, I... All the more reason why I cannot concede to you now. Least of all to you, dear brother. Sarah Noah Wolfort, I challenge you to a duel. To the victor goes the crown. Pray, let us think about this. On your guard, Saranoa. I do not say this in jest. Cease this quarreling at once. Stop them, Benedict. I cannot. They must settle this here and now if we are to move forward. Listen to Benedict. This is not your fight. Do you have the courage of your convictions, brother? <laughs> Roland, stop this madness. I have no desire to sit upon the throne. I only wish to aid you in protecting our kingdom, the only home we've ever known. I have no doubt. You've been a peerless friend. I would trust you with my life. But the truth has been revealed and our paths diverge. You said it yourself. There can only be one way forward. That has naught to do with our lineage. Our bloodlines need not be shackles. Shackles? Ha! I have fought tooth and nail to protect what you now decry. I know you have suffered, brother. How can you? You, who had your father's love, the unwavering trust of your subjects, proved yourself time and again so effortlessly! I ask you to prove yourself once more! Roland, please! I have toiled in your shadow while you led House Wolf to glory. I have revered you and envied you in equal measure. I long to be like you, and I long to claim victory over you, just once. 
I am not worthy of such adulation. Nor am I alone the reason we've come this far. We are all in this together. I knew you would seek to erase yourself from our history if you knew how I felt. Don't you dare shrink from me! Stand and fight so I can best you! I have no will to fight you, brother. I want none of this. Life does not always turn out how we want. Of this, you and I are now keenly aware. You asked me to put aside my feelings when you talked of joining with Esfrost. Now I ask you to do the same. Prove to me that you have what it takes to deal with Esfrost and crush Izant. That you can cut out a part of yourself to do what you think must be done. Show me you can create this bold new future you speak of. Well, the scales of conviction have spoken, and House Wolfwort shall heed their word. If you would stand in our way and seek to prevent us from walking the path we have chosen, so help me, as Lord of House Wolfwort, I shall cut you down where you stand. Yes, let us see who is the better between us. On your guard. Seems it was me, dear brother. In the end, I cannot escape your shadow. Kill me. It is only fitting that it is you who strikes the final blow. What will become of Glenbrook? That is up to you. I leave the kingdom in your hands. You have the ring, the royal blood. And it was House Wolfort that reclaimed the kingdom. The people and the nobles will assent to your rule. So long as I am gone. This is no time to waver, Lord Serenoa. King Roland initiated the duel. The terms are his to dictate. Letting him live will only prolong our troubles. You think I do not know that? You ask the impossible. My friend, my brother, is not meant to die by my hand. You are cruel in your kindness, Serenoa. I have neither the constitution nor the fortitude to be king. I cannot lead as you can, as our father did. I saw the terrifying limits of my abilities and sought the sweet release of surrendering to a higher power. Would you have such a coward live? I've watched you confront these parts of yourself for as long as I can remember. I've watched you strive to better yourself, to better everyone. You had my undying loyalty and trust. Oh, how I admired you, my friend. How I longed to follow in your footsteps. and follow you did. But now you must overtake me. I shall. Just promise me one thing. Promise me that you will watch over me. Every breath, every step, every word from my lips. And the moment you see me stray, you will set me back on the right path. 
This I shall do, seeing as you bested me in combat. Farewell, Saranoa. May we never meet again as brother or friend. Not the parting I would have preferred, but as Roland himself noted, life does not always turn out as we want. Not another word, Benedict. I do not trust myself to show restraint. My love. At least we have settled on a path forward. There is work to do. Leave me, Hewett. I cannot do that. Or have you forgotten that you are my one and only sworn liege? Then take this as an order from that liege. Serve Saranoa, as you once served me. I am the only one who need walk this path. Your Majesty. Dry your tears, Hewett. It is unbecoming for a proud member of the King's Guard. How can you say that? I never expected our parting to be like this. I am sorry. But there is something I would tell only you by way of apology. My disagreement with Saranoa and hatred of Esfrost were no lies. I will walk this path, carrying these feelings with me, perhaps forever. But my unwillingness to ally with Esfrost runs deeper than a personal grudge. Is it because you cannot trust Gustadov? It is his idea of freedom I cannot trust. In a world of unbridled ambitions, people will stop at nothing to claim power. The strong will prosper, while the weak will struggle to survive. So if we join forces with Esfrost, then someday Glenbrook will... Yes. His ideals of freedom will inevitably create a clear division between the strong and the weak. I cannot abide by that. I do not think Lord Saranoa wishes for a world like that. Nor do I. But Benedict will stop at nothing to defeat Hyzant. Who knows what will happen once he joins forces with Gustadolf. I understand. You wish for me to stay and watch over House Wolfort. Yes. You must take care of Saranoa in my place. And Cordelia as well. You have my word. You needn't worry about a thing, Your Majesty. You were a loyal and true knight, Huet. And for that, you have my eternal thanks. I mean, sucks Roland left, I, I doubt he's coming back, but I put so much into Roland. Got a character story for, uh, who's this? Man, oh, that's gotta be Sir Maxwell, no? Oh, we got a character story for Sir Maxwell. Oh, nice, so he does live. I knew it! <laughs> right, so I'm gonna be ending this part here then. Next episode, we will, um, I guess, start the plan and team up with Esfrost. Alright, I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.